It's the beginning of the week that we call Holy Week. We're in Jerusalem and Pilate is in town. He's arrived from Caesarea and he's come to bring order to the city at the time of Passover. Pilgrims are arriving in their thousands and the Roman authorities want to make sure that there's order and discipline, a symbol that they are still in control. And so he arrives with his army. He's come in through the gate with a mighty procession, soldiers, horses, armour, weapons, gold and pomp and circumstance. You can't avoid the fact that he is here. He's here to be in charge. So contrast that with the image of Jesus arriving in through another gate, arriving on a donkey, dressed as a peasant and accompanied by an unimpressive band of followers. And yet the people are out on the streets. They know their scriptures and they have hope that this is the man who is the Messiah, the one who will bring victory to them. They greet and cheer him, but they must also realize that he is not the king that they are expecting. He won't come and overthrow the authorities. He won't come and bring victory to the Jewish people. His kingship is one of servanthood, of one of reaching out to those in need. And as we look out in our broken world, the pain and the darkness of so many countries and situations, where do we see that servant leadership modelled? It's in the homes of those who are opening them up and greeting in refugees as if they were members of their family. It's in the trucks that have been loaded up with, with goods, with food, with shelter, driven across Europe, a drop in the ocean, but meaning so much to those who receive these gifts. Jesus is the king we follow. Jesus is the servant king. And as we follow his example, so we see hope in the darkness.